Schools and libraries invite drag queens, some dressed like torn demons, to read to young children. And it's a social deconstructionist agenda. Just me and says, you have to accept Jesus' love or you will burn in hell because I love Jesus. I love any man who can get nailed for three days straight and come back for more. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Tell me what you're thinking and feeling right now, Gary. I'm hurt, bad. In the secular world, we already have equality in law. People can enter civil partnerships or even gay marriage outside of the church, and that's their prerogative. However, the faith is inherently discriminatory. God is discriminatory. He sets conditions on us entering his heavenly kingdom. It is not a free-for-all. We must turn away from sin, repent, and follow Christ. And I want to specify it is the sin that is the problem, not the sinner. Every single person is loved by God, and God forgives all of us of our depravity but we have to turn away from our sins and turn toward him. And it seems the panel opposite me has forgotten to separate the sin from the sinner. One can denounce sin while still welcoming the sinner. So as I wrap up, my message to the proposing side is do not lead us astray. Do not lead people astray. Do not be the wolves in sheep's clothing. Do not be the false teachers that the Bible warns us about. Remember your obligation to defend the faith. Stop teaching about diversity, inclusion, and equality and get back to teaching about redemption and salvation. This is spiritual neglect. Help people by telling them the truth 